Oh, it's me Morgan. Today we have a little challenge between two different OLTs, which is fiber distribution units. First one is Ubiquity, and the second one, it's the HS GQ Chinese product. Four pounds. This is an E pound, and this is the G pound. Same. They both deliver one gig speed. The G pound is fed by a 10 gig, and this is for management. We separate them, and the E pound is fed by four SFP and four Ethernet. All of them aggregated to a bandwidth limit of 8 gigabytes. Okay? So, when the data flow, it will flow in these four units at LACP. Alright. And the GPON has one connection of 10 gig that is connected to the main core switch. Both deliver public IPs. So, the test, they're going to be done in two different units. That each one has a different public IP. As clients we'll see what's the output all right um, something else I was gonna mention yes both are connected this one is connected to the 10 gig switch this one is connected to one gig ports but this width has four ports that they are 10 gig each again LACP with the same core switch so we have here, we're going to focus on this one, the g -pon from Ubiquity, and we're going to focus on the x -pon from, well, it's not the same model as the OLT, but it works with it, so that's great. The g -pon has a splitter come into it from the main OLT, 16, and the e -pon has 16. Um, actually eight eight port splitter same thing so uh, what we have here the g -pon is connected to the ubiquity OLT and the x -pon is connected to HSGQ Chinese OLT we'll test them both to our local speed test server okay we're not gonna use a work lab because I don't really know how busy is that server Everybody's pinging on it, especially right now with the fiber error. So I built my own one that way I'm sure this is the connection between the clients and the gateway. All right. So first we're going to test Ubiquity g -Pon. Let's go to the computer and then see what we have there. So we popped in the speed test here. Speed test that www-wifi.com. This is our local speed test for our client, client to try and also for us to troubleshoot any problem we have in between any problem that we have connection with between the clients and ourselves or between the clients and the internet same thing now we're going to start the ubiquity g -pon, all right and it's connected it's given a public ip address i'm hiding it right here and i'm going to start the speed test 1.2 millisecond. This G -pon is set at 1 gig. So, yeah, it's around that. And the upload is also. Around the 1 gig. That's perfect. So, this is the test with the G -pon from Ubiquity. Let's try the E -pon with the x -pon, oh my god, from China. So let me go switch the cable and then we'll come back. All right, so we tested here the G-Pon. Um, this G-Pon are powered by five volt actually, USB, that is great. And this access point, the same thing. We use this for testing, that way we don't have to plug always. So we just plug this one in and we have the Wi-Fi and we can see what's going on with it. 
Let's unplug it out of here and plug it in this one. And you can see everything is lighting up. So let's go back and test this one. All right, so this is where we stopped in a minute. We're gonna refresh the page. Now we are testing the x from China. So way cheaper, but let's see how this is gonna work. Yeah, there is no difference. It's almost one gig download. Let's consider one gig though. And one gig upload, so. Do I see any difference? No, it's exactly the same thing. So, when there's a lot of client on it, what happened? Who's gonna perform the better? But at this point, yo, it works. So if you cannot have the ubiquity or the out of it, or there is shortage in supply, you can do the Chinese. It's all about budgeting. It all depends how much the project will run for. There you go. This is Ubiquity, OLT, and Jipan versus China, OLT, and Xpan.